Dix, I'm going to bring up Sarah Todd, our Congressional District County Liam Vice Chair. Yes! Come here. How are you going to do it there? I don't know anyone who has as tough a job for our party as this wonderful person here. And uh, we can't thank her enough for the amount of effort and sweat and blood and tears that she has given. Sarah, bring us up today. Sarah Todd, y'all, let's play. Our county committees right now are the strongest that they have been in years. And that are that way because of the hard work that you have put in so far. You know, in my own county committee, I've been a member of my county committee for 15 years. I held every officer position. So I've come up through the county committee structure. And I know what has to take place in your counties for it to be successful. And I know that our counties have to be successful for our state party to be successful. And we are in great shape right now. I'm very confident that our committees right now are ready to assist the coordinated campaign. I know that we've been putting together, we've been working stuff like campaign in the box, and we've been working with the coordinated campaign to make sure that we're getting information out to the county committees so that y'all can step up and help. Um, specific to our counties, we had a very successful certification process this year. We have a couple of counties that are still getting a little bit of information to us, but on that note, we're working with them to get what we need in. So we're in great shape for that. Um, also, this spring and early summer, we've been busy adding new counties, putting them into formation status. Some of the ones that I want to mention really quickly happen to be Lawrence County, home of our chairman. So we're finally in party there. Uh, Jasper and Stevens, I went to their startup meetings on the same day. I was in Jasper County at 10 a.m. and in Stevens County, all the way from Georgia at 2 p.m. So, you know, speed limits, they're optional. <laughs> Lamar County, I was there just before the 4th. They're working very hard. Meriwether, home of our minority leader, Bob Trammell. They're coming back on board. I just read some stuff for Wilcox. Ben Hill, Wayne County. We have a lot of stuff going on all over the state, and it's because of the excitement that you guys bring to it, they want to be a part of it too. So I'm very thankful for everything that y'all are doing. The last thing that I want to do is remind you guys, as you know, our county affairs director left us at the end of February, so we do not have someone on staff right now to assist with any of the county things. If you have something that you need, it needs to come to me because everyone in the office right now is very focused on something that's happening in November. I'm focused on you guys. When you go back to your home counties, please ask your chair to send in their updated committee lists, the new member affidavits, and the meeting minutes for the elections that should have been held after the primary and before July 5th for your new committee members. If you haven't held those elections yet, please don't tell me. I don't freak out tonight. But please encourage them to go ahead and do so and then get those updated lists to me. And with that, I told you I'd be brief. Let's get out of here.